Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am Lewis. Um, uh, this is the first uh, vlog in this series called Sponsored, Not Sponsored. Um, very excited um, to do this. So I think in my intro, I mentioned that I've had my blog for about six years now. Um, so obviously just year after year, I work with different products, different brands, and I get to write more. And so um, I start getting some, I started, I guess, getting some really cool products in the mail. Um, sometimes I know they're coming, so the brand will reach out and say, hey, we're sending you X. And then sometimes it's like Christmas, which is kind of cool. Um, and so I probably thought about doing this for probably a year. Ever since I wanted to start my YouTube channel over again uh, for the second time, um, I wanted to do this because a lot of my friends were like, did you get so, some cool stuff? Um, you know, just what is it? I, you know, can you show it to me? And so for the most part, I don't write about everything that I get just because sometimes, again, it's not on brand or sometimes I don't want to write about 17 different shampoos. Um, and so I kind of pick and choose, um, but uh, I love checking it out. I've got introduced to some really cool brands because of that. Um, and so I figured I would share it with you guys. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, please um, add me on Instagram. Um, please subscribe. Um, notification situation. Um, I'll probably post, I don't know, a few times a month, so I won't harass you too much. Um, and then check out the blog, it's really cool. I will add all of their handles and websites in the description um, so you guys can check them out. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I guess Grooming Lounge, um, these guys are amazing. So I've worked with Grooming Lounge probably once or twice before um, on the blog as well as a few other projects. Um, they are absolutely amazing. Um, this um, body wash is, so it's black pepper body wash. I think I have their cologne in the same. I think they, they sent it over last year. Um, it smells um, like, mm, it smells like pepper, which I love. Um, and so, I mean, I've used this before, it wakes you up in the morning. Um, I just love that smell. It's really, really good. Um, this is their mug free, mug free, what is that? Um, their mug cleanser face wash. Um, I have not used this. What I have used is their deodorant, which Michael at Grooming Lounge, you can confirm. I emailed you and I said, your deodorant is absolutely amazing. Um, plain and simple, absolutely amazing. It smells like Vicks. Okay, you Latinos out there, you know what that smells like. It's actually, I think eucalyptus, but as soon as I opened it, I'm like, oh Vicks, it just reminds me of my mom. Um, anyway, so please check them out. Um, so I don't know if this will work, but I just want to make sure it's zoomed in um, that you guys can see the product. Um, so please uh, check them out. Grooming Lounge is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. I know you sent um, a box full of stuff, um, and so I have some of the other stuff, but I wanted to kind of uh, point this out. Um, Algenist, um, Algenist? I think it's Algenist. Um, sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing that. Um, you guys are amazing. I worked with them on a TV show two years ago, I think. Um, so their team was absolutely amazing. Um, I, I know I was able to try their, I think it was like a collagen serum um, situation. Um, and then this is a recharging night pressed serum. So um, listen, I'm in maintenance mode. Okay, this is not gonna get any better. Um, so at this point, I need to try everything and anything that's gonna keep me looking semi young. Oh, oh it smells like a cupcake. Is that weird? Um, anyway, so guys, go check them out. They're an amazing skincare brand based in California. Um, but yeah, so this is what they sent over. And so I'll definitely check it out and hopefully I'll post about it during like a, like a skincare routine situation. Um, got to be uh, sent over thickening shampoo. They know me. Um, I should probably be using this like 12 times a day. Um, but uh, I'm excited to, hmm. Almost like a little bit more like cologne, but it smells good. So I rely heavily on my olfactory sense, um, and so I have to smell stuff. Uh, something about, even if it's not meant to be um, smelled, I, I just really want to smell it, and I think that really kind of sells a product. Um, so anyway, so got to be thickening shampoo. Um, they're absolutely amazing, uh, so I cannot wait. Okay, Arm & Hammer. I legitimately use this. Um, I think uh, by the time this video, um, will be posted. Uh, this article will already be on my blog, so please go check it out. Um, I, so I'm a, I'm a runner. I've been a runner for 20 plus years. Um, Mid-distance, so like three to five miles, sometimes seven, sometimes more. Um, and so my feet need to like stay dry because if they don't, they get all sorts of funky. Um, and your shoes get funky and it's just not great. So I actually do use foot spray. Um, so at night, like after I shower, um, I put it on. It's just preventative and it keeps it fresh and clean. Um, because again, when you run a lot or even when you wear shoes a lot all day, your feet get sweaty and we've all smelled bad feet and bad shoes. So I think speaking of shoes, so this is a shoe refreshener. 
Again, I actually, in my closet, I have like a little setup with um, uh, cleaning pads for my white shoes um, and my shoe refresheners. Um, because again, shoes just get funky. I wear kind of no-shoes with, uh, with a lot of my low um, uh, top shoes, um, but still, um, it just gets, I used to wear shoes with no socks. I know, everybody can cringe at the same time. Um, enough of my friends, like here, this one, hopefully it'll be in focus. Um, enough of my friends have told me that that's foul. Um, and so I wear no-shows now, um, but still. So anyway, Arm & Hammer, guys, thank you guys so much. Um, the folks at Dial uh, sent over body wash and, oh, oh, I can't smell it. Oh, hmm, it smells good. Oh, okay, so Dial, again, Body wash is sort of like every guy should use some. Um, this is their odor combat activated charcoal technology. So can't wait to check them out. Thank you guys. So um, can we talk about Old Spice? So I think a lot of people know them for their deodorant, um, but they have a full range of products. And so I picked up, I got a notification that I had a package and I went um, and I picked up this, um, these boxes, genuinely they were probably this large, which is probably three and a half feet. There were two of them. Um, and again, sometimes I'm prepared to receive a package from X or Y, and then sometimes it just, it just shows up. Um, and so I opened one of them and it was a red duffel bag um, with some really cool stuff in there. I think there were some, um, there was a towel uh, and like a beach towel and there were some sunglasses um, and then some of their products, um, which was awesome. And I think the red duffel bag is in the coat closet. And then I opened up the next box um, and they sit over, they sit over this really, really cool, like leather, like, oh, again, guys, the olfactory sense, um, leather backpack, which is awesome and it's sturdy. And long story short, it was full of like all these products and they had some of their deodorant um, and some of their shampoo and some of their body wash. Um, this exfoliate with charcoal um, stuff. So anyway, Old Spice, thank you guys actually. In, well, there was this other, well, anyway, there was some other cool stuff in there. So, um, guys, thank you guys for sending that over. Um, that's really, really cool. This is moisturized with shea butter. Um, oh, I love the way that smells. It almost smells like a pina colada. Um, anyway, so thank you guys for sending that over. Um, speaking of deodorant, so um, I believe this is a brand from Dollar Shave Club. So I've worked with those guys before and uh, Obviously, it started out with you know razors and shaving stuff, and now they do their body wash is amazing. They're um, uh, exfoliating sort of like a, it's almost like a mitt um, is amazing, and I take it with me because it, when I travel because it dries quicker than a loofah, um, which I love. So anyway, um, they sent some deodorant over. For the record, I have no shortage of deodorant. So um, deodorants. Wait. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it smells good. It's bergamot and white musk. Oh, that smells really good. Um, thank you guys for sending this over. I can't wait to oh, try it out. Sorry, some of these uh, things give me technical difficulties. Um, so Abbott um, sent over this fragrance um, and I've never smelled it before. So this will be the first thing. Oh, I love the bottle. So it's ozone, violet, amber musk, and it says alcohol and fragrance. Oh wait, no. So it does not say alcohol and fragrance free. It says alcohol, fragrance, and water. So those are the ingredients, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, I can't smell it. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> did anybody ever take chemistry class and they told you to waft it? Um, clearly I did not do that. Oh, it smells good. Um, it has a, oh, I can't describe it. I suck at describing scents, but, oh, it smells good. Do they have a candle in this? Anyway, I digress. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so again, this was this one. Um, there's a reflection, so that may not work, um, but I'll show you guys the box. So if you guys can see that. Um, oh God, it smells really good. Mm, okay, perfect. So thank you guys for sending that over. Um, I am working on a, on a fragrance post, um, and so hopefully um, I can include those guys. Um, so Sol Janeiro, oh I know, I'm gonna chop that up, sorry. It's a Brazilian brand, um, and this is the SPF stick. 
um, which is kind of cool because I wear SPF um, moisturizer. Um, I don't. I try to stay out of the sun, um, but because I run and because just naturally I go outside, um, every time I wear a face moisturizer, it has SPF in it. Um, but the oh oh god, it's, it smells like butterscotch. I don't even like butterscotch, but or it smells like marble slab when you walk in there. I don't know what it is. Um, I can't read the ingredients because there's a reflection. But it says moisturi uh, moisturizing sun protection balm for face, lip, and tattoos. I don't have any tattoos, but I do have a face and I do have two lips. So um, I will happily use this. Oh my God, that smells good. It smells like butterscotch. Um, that's amazing. Speaking of lips, okay, so um, Alba uh, Botanica. So you guys, they're great. Um, they, they've sent over some shampoo and conditioner that I've used, um, uh, and I think a few other products. Um, but they sent this over, so it's Fast Fix for Thin Lips Tinted Plumbing Gloss. Okay, first of all, I don't know how tinted this is. Stand by, actually. Um, oh, it's, it's tinted. Oh yeah. Um, so it's supposed to plump up your lips, for people with thin lips. Um, I literally never tried this in my life, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Oh. I don't know if it's, okay. Mm. Okay, first of all, it smells and tastes like Big Red. The gum, not the soda, because I've never had Big Red soda. Um, Everybody relax, I know. Um, but that's exactly what I smell, I mean, what it smells like. Um, it has cinnamon and it's supposed to plump up your lips. So by the end of this video, if I have a full Kylie Jenner situation going on, then this is absolutely legit. Um, and if I don't, then it moisturized my lips. So uh, it worked either way. Thanks for sending this over. So this was sort of like the grooming section um, that um, of all the stuff that was sent over, um, but there's still a few more cool items that I want you guys to, um, to check out. Okay, so I received this box, I don't know, four days ago maybe, um, and I had no idea it was coming. So it's, can you guys see that? I hope that's in focus. Um, it is Trophy Skin, um, uh, it's a portable home microdermabrasion system. Um, I've never opened it, um, so I'm excited. Ooh. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for good packaging. Like, in this box, you could sell me a used tissue and I would be all about it and order two more. Because, guys, the packaging. Um, okay, oh, 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 there's a, there's a gift card situation. Okay, sorry, I'm so distracted. Surely you do not want this video to be 90 minutes long, so I'm gonna hurry up. Um, there's a gift card, there's a user guide, and then, oh crap. I'm telling you, this is not rehearsed or planned, which is why it's sort of a shit show. Um, oh, this starts vibrating. Oh no, okay, so it's not, oh shoot. I clearly don't know what I'm doing, um, but I assume you take this, oh. Oh. Can you guys see that? Oh, I mean, I don't even know how to get that in focus. Can you guys see that? It's, um, oh, that looks like it, like it could definitely microderma braze my skin. It almost feels like sandpaper. And I know that's kind of an aggressive texture, um, but that's what it feels like. So I assume that that is what you do use. Um, Anyway, I'll have to read the instructions and use it obviously properly, um, but this is cool. Again, I'll probably include this in one of my, um, my maybe my nighttime uh, skin treatment. Uh, guys, I know. So clearly I need a bigger table, but we will work on that for next time. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So guys, thank you for sending this over. Um, can't wait to check this out. Yeah, there's a full instruction book, so I'm gonna have to um, read this um, later. Um, so Mr. Black um, sent this over. So it's cold brew coffee liqueur. Um, again, there's probably a reflection, but hopefully um, you guys can see it. It says a bittersweet blend of cold brewed specialty Arabic coffee and Australian wheat spirit. Hard to make, easy to drink. Um, again, first of all, the bottle and the color, 
Yes, um, it fits very nicely with the rest of my bar setup. Um, so uh, I have not opened this, but I can't wait to open it and then we'll do kind of a cool shoot with it um, and then test it out. So thank you guys for sending this, oh, I almost dropped it, for sending this over, I appreciate it. Um, and then lastly, so I got an email um, asking if I wanted to check out this product about wine and I was like, sure, let's check it out. So I, so I read the email carefully, they're wine condoms. Um, I know. So first of all, maybe you guys have heard of them. I have genuinely never heard of wine condoms. And so I did not want to open it until I got, um, until it was in like on video because I really wanted a genuine reaction to it. Um, and packaging again, come on. Guys, it looks like a, um, almost like a palette. Um, it says wine condom, protection for wine lovers. Okay, so basically, oh. Oh, come on, Lois, pull. Um, all right, sleeve, shut up. So it says instructions for use, um, I won't read them to you. It says be gentle, it's his first time. Okay, <laughs> okay, um, I'm sweating. Um, guys, first of all, shut up. This is, okay, do is that in focus? This is the kind of stuff that like, I do this this vlog series for. Um, not that any of this other stuff is not cool. It is. Um, again, I wish you guys could smell some of the fragrances, um, but I want you guys to sort of get to know some of these cool brands that exist um, that you may not have heard of. Um, but when you get cool stuff like a face microdermabrasion system um, or wine condoms, um, it is the coolest thing. Oh, and there's a charity component as well. So which is kind of cool. And it says we just turn wine into water. So um, I guess each box comes with six condoms. Um, I don't think they're reusable. Like most, like all condoms, not reusable, I would assume. Um, but, okay, I can't even read the instructions, guys. This is too much. Okay, but it's really cool. It, say, it says flowers and chocolate are optional. Like grab the neck. Guys, I'm hot. Okay, so wine, um, condoms, I, damn it. I do have a bottle of wine. Oh, I do have an open bottle of wine. Oh, shit. Okay, stand by, I have to go get this, one second. Okay, um, back by popular demand. Okay, so we had this bottle of wine that was open and I have your typical um, wine stopper on it. it. For the record, this was genuinely not planned. This was opened a week ago. Uh, some friends came over for some Italian food um, and the wine was not finished. And so we had it on our counter and, oh God. Okay, now I have to read the directions, hold on. Um, allows it to fit almost any bottle with a watertight seal before you apply it to the open neck of your wine or beer bottle, so that's good. Um, you must stretch it to get it in the mood. Oh God, sure, I mean, I'm saying oh God because I'm gonna do this on video and then People are going to judge. Um, be gentle, it's his first time. So it wants me to stick my fingers in the condom and stretch it. So you're welcome. Again, mom, you're not watching this because Maria has other things to do in life. Um, can we just, we've all been here. Can I, can I get an amen? We, oh, got it, we're in. Um, oh, so definitely not, I don't know what I expected. Can I be honest, I expected expected it to be um, not as dry <laughs> because the mind plays tricks on you. And you're, I mean, I'm literally opened up a condom package. So, um, okay, so I, just, I, don't, I don't stretch what is going on. Okay, and then I assume I put it on. If I spill this bottle of wine, by the way, first of all, people are gonna be sad because the wine is spilled. And then I'm going to be sad because I'm gonna have red wine stains everywhere. Um, do you? First of all, I usually, never mind. Um, shut up. And then, oh, there's a little tip. Um, I kind of want to pour it upside down to see if it actually works. Oh God. Oh, guys, this is legit. It works. I feel like I'm at Dairy Queen. You know when they do that to your blizzard? Um, oh, shit. okay, so it, so it leaks a little bit. Um, oh no, it, oh, the tip. 
Um, okay, so for the record, nothing against wine condom because that was my fault. Who puts a bottle upside down for 10 minutes? Um, so that was on me. I don't even know what to do. Um, that's awkward. Um, but nonetheless, that's amazing. I smell like wine now, so I probably shouldn't go driving. Um, but thank you guys for sending this over. This is so cool. Um, I may give these to friends for uh, the holidays. Um, so I think that's it, guys. Um, until next month, um, hopefully I'll get some really cool stuff and I'll be able to show you guys some more stuff. So um, anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, and I'll see you all next month.